um, Colt uh, the welcome home that he deserved over all the things that he's done for the University of Texas and the winningest quarterback in, in uh, college football history. Uh, and I thought that was uh, um, really well done. I also appreciate how you honored the family members that are, were affected by breast cancer. Uh, I thought it was a, a great moment at that time to start the game, and I was proud of the fans. They stayed. Uh, they helped our team fight, and I know it's hard to do when we're not playing very well, and um, it's unusual, and I ask you to do that for the next four weeks for these kids because they are trying, the coaches are trying, and, and I appreciated you uh, hanging in there and, and helping us as much as you could. Uh, guys played very hard on Saturday night. There's a real fine line between winning and losing. In fact, uh, John Bianco got me some stats a few minutes ago, and it's really interesting that, that you look at the difference in last year's team and this year's team and show you the fine line between winning and losing. We're obviously making too many mistakes, but uh, penalties last year at this time, we had 59 penalties. Right now, we've got 59 penalties. So we had too many penalties Saturday night. We had 11 that really hurt us, but obviously it's the same as last year. Third down percentage, last year we were, com uh, we were converting 44% of our third downs offensively. This year we're converting 41% of our third downs. So that's not as bad as, as it seems. We'd like to do better, but it, it's not. Uh, defensively, last year we were holding people to 24% of their third down conversions. Uh, this year we're giving up 36%. So we're not doing as well on defense and giving up more big plays in that area. Uh, red zone is, is uh, and turnovers is what we've said. Last year uh, our red zone scores um, scoring touchdowns, we scored 24 touchdowns last year in 38 trips. So 63% of the time in the red zone uh, we scored. We held the opponents to only 8 touchdowns in 15 trips. So 53% uh, of the time we kept them from scoring touchdowns. Red zone touchdowns this year as compared to 24 of 38 were only 15 of 36. And, and that's killing us. We have got to score more touchdowns in the red zone. So we went from 63% to 42% in the red zone. Last year we were holding them to 53% at 8 for 15 trips um, scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Right now we're giving up 14 touchdowns and 22 trips. Uh, so they've been there a few more times. Uh, our offense has been in there about the same number of times. We're just not scoring points. Uh, other than the, the red zone, the overwhelming stat is last year we had lost the ball with turnover 16 times at this time. This year we've lost the ball 18 times. So we're really not turning the ball over any more than we did last year. Uh, the big difference is that uh, last year we had gained 26 turnovers at this time. Right now we've gained 11. So we're 15 short of the turnovers that we gained this time last year. and, and uh, we just got to, the, the kids are aware of it. It's something that we've got we've to get fixed and got to keep working. And you force turnovers by energy and knocking balls loose. And you get in the end zone by um, uh, obviously catching two passes that uh, we should have had for touchdown passes. We've dropped a number of touchdown passes this year. Garrett can continue to be more aggressive and run when we get down there. And we need to uh, be more wide open in play selection. Uh, and we've got to throw the ball better when we get down in the end zone. In, in my estimation, guys just have to make plays. And those are things that we're not doing at, at this time. Uh, so we'll open it up more and, and make some plays. The offense moved the ball probably the best all year, and it shows you the stat of, of total offense is very unimportant because we outgamed Baylor by 100 yards and still lost the game. So uh, those things are unimportant. What's important is what we just talked about, and that's turnover ratio and, and scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Um, we answered with a field goal right before the half after we gave up the, the long play right before the half, and you always want to score going in because stats uh, historically say the team that scores before the half and, and that comes back out and aggressive after the half has the best chance to win the game. We came out the second half and scored on the opening drive, scored a touchdown. So we felt like things were in good shape at, at that point. Defense was playing well. And then we uh, give up the, the big play, again, the long run for a touchdown, 69-yard run and come right back instead of answering with a score. The offense turns the ball over. We have the great goal line stand that fights them, and they, they finally score on the fourth and six inches. So uh, we've got to play better as a team in those areas. We had nine explosive plays. Uh, Garrett Gilbert had his best game, and he played with more confidence and, and, and led our team. Uh, Michael Huey was playing great. He got hurt at halftime, and, and Michael hurt his knee, and he's out four to six weeks. 
Uh, so that's a, another blow to us that uh, uh, we've lost another starting offensive lineman. John Childs also played his best game. Uh, concerns on offense, we did have five penalties. We have entirely too many motion penalties. And I don't know why we flinch, but we do. A lot of times the defenses are acting like they're blitzing. Sometimes they're calling out your signals. Uh, but you've just got to get used to the, uh, your quarterback's voice. You've got to get used to the center and, and obviously move on the ball. We had five drop passes and two of them for touchdowns. We've got to start catching the ball better. It's been a problem all year. Uh, we lost two turnovers. Both were very costly. One of them cost us seven points. It was down inside the 20, and the other one was the last play of the game, uh, which I still felt like we had a chance to come back and score, go for two, and tie the game up and get in our first overtime game ever. Lack of production in, in the red zone and, and not scoring touchdowns, kicking field goals is, is once again killing us. So we've got to make more plays in the red zone. We, we went over it with the kids yesterday and showed them exactly where we could have scored on each of those plays, and we feel like that we've got to be more wide open and, and – um, take more chances right now to score and it's, it's just like in the kicking game we instead of kicking the last 49 yard field goal we went for it on fourth and two we make it and get an offensive interference call backs us up we have to punt we don't get any points instead of the three so uh, but uh, Garrett needs to continue to make more plays with his feet he's showing the ability to do that each week he's a really good runner he's a strong runner he's a tough runner and if it's uh, uh, between run and pass right now we need him to run if he's out on the a corner and, and sees the ability to, uh, to make 10 yards. Uh, Trey Hopkins will start at the left guard. Uh, he'll be backed up by Thomas Ashcraft. Also, Darius White had his, uh, uh, he's, he's showing a lot more progress. He had a better practice last week, so we need to play Darius more as we get uh, uh, ready to finish the last four games of the season. Fozzie got a stinger at halftime of the Nebraska game and has played limited since then. Um, I think Major's right. We've talked about it. Uh, when you've got a stinger and, and you're touching the ball and you get hit as, as much as we're needing to score touchdowns, we can't afford for the ball to pop out. So we've got to get him totally well. He can go in and protect. He's caught the ball a couple of times in passing situations. But Trey and Cody have stepped in doing a good job, and, and we we're more balanced on Saturday between the run and the pass, and we need to continue to do that. Um, Robert Griffin's really good. Their wide receivers are really good, and their punter was great. And, and I thought those guys made the difference in the ball game. Uh, you start looking at the plays that Robert made. We held him pretty much in check with his feet. Uh, we got after him. Uh, defense played really hard. We had four three and outs. We had three sacks, ten hits on the quarterbacks. Uh, on the quarterback, um, majority of the guys on defense played very well. What happened was uh, when we blitzed, um, they burned us and, and had some big plays in the passing game. It was a third and ten, a third and ten, a third and nine. And they converted and we didn't. And that ended up being the difference. We played really well on the early downs, but we didn't make the plays on third down that, that we have to make to win the game and then gave up the, the huge run inside. Uh, Jackson Jeffcoat was not able to play again. Um, he practiced a little bit. We thought he would be able to play some, even though with a freshman you need to practice. Uh, but he got out in pregame and could not push off. So we need to get him back, and that's important. Uh, we stopped the run all but one big play. Uh, you take out the 69-yard run, which you cannot, and we hold them to 2.9 yards per carry. And, and we've given up some big runs in the running game, and, and that's huge this week playing Kansas State because they run it so well. Uh, like we said, big plays killed us, and we've got to get off the field, and, and, um, and it just kills your momentum. And, and right now we've got to answer better offensively. We had nine missed tackles for 140 yards on their wide receivers and on Griffin. They're good players. We only force two turnovers. We have to have a minimum of three per week, we feel like, to win the game. Uh, Ashton Dorsey played some in this game, and he's coming on, so we need to play Ashton more here in the last four weeks um, because we're, we're playing majority of the time with Alex Oakford and Keiston Randall, and they get beaten down over time, even though we had the ball in the 80s and, and they had it in the 60s when you take a uh, number of plays. Uh, kickoff coverage was excellent. We made them start at the 23-yard line. They averaged 15 yards per return. We had three touchbacks uh, and two tackles inside the 20-yard line. So those guys did their job against a team that uh, has got speed and can do a good job with kickoff returns. Punt team did okay. They averaged 42.3 yards per punt. Uh, they gave up no yards in return. We had one punt down inside the 20. We didn't really punt very much. Uh, but the two other punts, uh, uh, we've got to do a better job in, in down in the ball inside the 20. 
Uh, both of them went out of, or went in the end zone, and and um, if that's going to happen from the 45, you're only gaining 20 yards. We need to go for fourth down eight uh, because we why punt it if you can't get it stopped uh, down in your own end.